Welcome to Northwest Fencing Center's fencing series on YouTube. This is Coach Michael McTeague here with you with a second installment of our Point Control Plus series. We started this series last week, and if you didn't see Point Control series number one, then I recommend you go watch that one, maybe even do that one before you do this one, um, but at least give you an idea of what the concept is. For today's workout, you are going to need a Tabata timer or a large clock with a sweep second hand that you can see. You'll need a jump rope, your weapon, a glove. You'll either need a ball target or a wall target. Either one will do, although I prefer the ball target for this particular exercise. I'll give you a few seconds to gather those things together. And uh, when you come back, make sure you have a pencil and a piece of paper so that you can write down the list that you're going to stick on the wall so that you can do this exercise as many laps as you want without listening to me jabber in the background. So go gather those things up, pause the video, I'll wait right here for you. All right, I'm assuming you've got everything that you need. If you don't have a jump rope, don't worry about it. We are going to be setting up our Tabata timer or using our clock on the wall. We're going to start with a 10 second period to get ready and then our timer will kick off with a 60 second period of work followed by another 10 seconds of rest where we're going to change from one activity to the other. Another 60 seconds of work back and forth so that we wind up with 10 60 second work periods and 10 10 second work uh, rest periods in between. Completing all of those, all 10 of those exercises, will give us one entire lap. As we said last week, if you get to the end of one lap and you feel like you could do another lap, do another lap. If you can do a third lap, go for championship status, go for a third lap. <clears throat> Try and push yourself a little bit. Now, today we're working with aerobic exercise and point control, whereas last week we worked with strength and point control. So our 60 second work periods this, this week are going to be consisting of 60 seconds of jumping rope continuously. Now you might not be the world's greatest rope jumper, but if you try as hard as you can and you, you stop, you catch it on your foot, you just get right back to it and you do it again do workouts like this where you're jumping rope all the time, guess what? Eventually you're going to get really good at it. So if you're not too great at it at the beginning, you just make your best effort to be in continuous motion for a minute, and then much of that is jumping rope. If you don't have a jump rope handy, you have a couple of other options. You can run in place. If you're going to run in place, make sure you're on your toes and then you pick your knees up when you're running in place. Nice high knees for the whole time. If you can keep those knees high without having your hands out to remember, you can also pump your arms when you're running to make it more aerobic. If you want to, you could do jump jacks. That works fine as well. And lastly, if you want to really up it a little bit, you could do burpees or squat thrusts, as some people call them, where, and you all know what those are, up, down, Drop, out, back, up. Okay, so jump rope, run in place, jumping jacks, burpees. And if you want to, you can do different ones of those as you move through the workout. But if you want to just pick one and stick with it, you can. When I do it, I like to jump rope, I like to pick that and stick with that. And then on my 60 second work periods, I just jump rope. And if I want to try and get fancy, I get fancy. I toss it over there. But that's not necessary. So, we have 60 seconds of motion, followed by a 10 second roach, rest, and then grab our weapon, stand in front of our target. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to begin our point control exercise. We're going to be doing the same exercise from different distances. We're going to start at extension distance, work up to advance distance, then lunge, then advance lunge, and then on our last set, 
we're going to be doing advanced lunge with speed. But there is a twist. We are going to use our target, but we are going to try and reach our point towards our target so that it stops just in front of the target and doesn't hit it. We're trying to get an inch away from the target, as close as you can. Boom. Putting our point at the spot in space. I like using the ball target like this because if I get my distance off and I'm too close, and I haven't assessed properly, then I will hit the ball and it's pretty obvious. If I'm too far away, it doesn't matter what I'm aiming at, that'll be obvious too. So if I'm at extension distance, I'm trying to extend, boom, to just in front of the target. And I want to make sure I'm leading with my point, boom, one inch ahead. Work from different hand positions. Tip first. Boom. A little bit far that time. Tip first. Extend. Okay? So, you're going to spend 60 seconds at extension distance from a standard on guard, also from other hand positions, like we did in a previous exercise. And I'm reaching with reasonable speed to be just an inch in front of, the ball, in front of my ball target. So that's our first section. Jumping jacks, 10 seconds off, extend to just in front of the ball. Cycle number three, we're jumping rope, we're running whatever our aerobic piece is again for 60 seconds. Now we're going to be doing our ball exercise at advanced distance. So I'm going to be going point first and advancing. Well, oh, got a little close, but I could see that because I'm using my ball target. Okay, so I want to take the first part of that advance, extend with the back foot. Nice again. Then first front foot and point. A little far away. Front foot, point. Until I get myself reliably just in front of my target. Again, close as I can get without actually hitting it. Slow it down if it's coming apart work the speed back in. We don't have to go fast at all at this part of the exercise. 10 seconds off, grab your jump rope. Section number five, 10 seconds off. And now we're back to our target exercise. Again, we're gonna be going just in front of the ball, but this time from lunge distance. Extend, lunge. Not going too fast, extend, lunge. How was that for distance? Not bad. Extend, lunge. I'm again just trying. Now I'm not, I want to make sure I'm not hauling up short. I want to make sure that I'm not going, eh, you know, or uh, I'm pulling my hand back. I want to make sure I have an extension and a lunge. The lunge can be short, the lunge can be long, but what the lunge has to do is go exactly that distance that you want it to go to get that point just in front of the ball. Again, we're looking at arriving to a spot in space with our tip. 60 seconds of the lunge, 10 seconds off. Grab your jump rope again, another 60 seconds. That's number seven. 10 seconds off, grab your weapon, and now we're going to be doing advanced lunge. So it's Front foot, extend on the back foot, lunge, and you start slowly. Find your distance. Front foot, extend with the back foot, lunge, find your distance. I don't think you want to go, I know you don't want to go particularly quickly at this stage. So I want to go front foot, extend, lunge. Front foot. Extend with the back foot, plunge. Get yourself right in there. Don't be choking back. Make sure it's a full extension and keep it. If you want a little too far and you bop the ball, calm it down, readjust your distance. The idea is, is to gradually get a feel for where this distance is and to be able to arrive in this spot in space right when you want to. Now, we put our weapon down, take seven seconds to grab our jump rope, 
And number nine in our series is another minute of jumping rope or burpees or whatever floats your boat aerobically as long as you're in constant motion for that 60 seconds. Last thing is going to be advanced lunge again. But now in the advanced lunge, we're going to try and bring some speed to it. Uh, Coach Simone did a speed of point and commitment drill earlier in the week. This can play off of that as well. So I'm going to look for an advanced lunge where I'm going to, I maybe start slow, but I want to see acceleration. So front foot, back lunge. And I get right to the spot that I'm looking to get to. Quiet the ball if you need to, readjust your distance. Slow start, bum bum. Commitment to the lunge, to that spot in space. That is one entire lap. And that may prove to be plenty for you. Um, but see how many you can do. See if you can do a second lap. See if you can do a third lap. What you'll find is, is as you get tireder from the aerobic, you may find that your distance assessment gets poorer. So being able to practice being tired and assessing distance will be an important part of your fencing game when you return to competition. We're great and fresh for the first few bouts, but along about the third, fourth, fifth, sixth DE in a really large competition, everybody's tired. The people who are fitter and used to assessing distance and building speed when they are tired are the ones that tend to rise to the top. They don't get there because of how they were born. They get there because of how they work. Take this time and this challenging moment to work. And when it's time to come back to competition, you'll find you're better than you were before. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again next week for another Point Control Plus series workout. Take care.